but all that manual stuff is really tedious and it takes forever um, because it's lots of code and you can mess up at different points and, and you don't really want to do that in real life. So what we're going to do is not do it manually. Um, so I'll come down and add a new section here called um, automatic two stage these squares. So to do this, rather than running a first stage, um, generating predictions, running a second stage, we're going to do it all at once. Um, and to do this, we're going to use the IV robust function, and it comes from a package called estimator, um, which will load up at the top here. Um, we could technically load it down at the, at the chunk that we're working with, but it's generally good practice to have all your libraries up at the top so that if somebody opens up this script, they know what they need to install. Um, and that way they're not surprised like halfway through the document. They're like, oh, there's another package I forgot to install. Um, so it's, it's good to have it all up at the top. So we're going to say library estimator. And we'll press control enter or command enter to run that. So now we have the estimator library loaded. So scroll all the way down here. We're going to insert a new chunk here. And this we're going to call model to SLS. And so rather than doing first stage, generate prediction, second stage, we're going to use a function called IV underscore robust. And the way this works is, if you remember from the slides, um, let's go back to right here. Um, this is the, the formula we use. We say outcome is explained by the second stage stuff. And then we use this pipe sign here. And then we say instruments go on that side for the first stage. So if we come down here to IV robust, we want to say wage is explained by education, which looks like the naive model. Um, but we don't want to just keep it there. We want to use an instrument, which will then explain the variation in education. So to do the instrument, we'll use this up and down um, symbol, which is the if you do shift and then the key right above your enter key, that's where that is. So oh, there we go. So after that, we do our instrument, which was father eduk. And then we tell it the data set. So we say data equals um, ed fake. And then we can say tidy model to SLS. So if we run this, there's the $7.83 effect um, that was identical to what we found. If we look back here, there's our 7835 that we did with the manual two stage these squares, but that's miserable. Um, here's the same effect, 7835 if you round up. And that is identical. But now the standard errors are correct. You could cluster by other things. If you had other um, data structures within your data, like villages and cities and states and years and other things, you can do things with the standard errors with IV robust to adjust for that. Um, and that's how you do um, kind of the automatic two stage least square stuff directly with um, IV robust instead of the, the really roundabout process of running the first stage, generating predictions, running the second stage. Um, with IV Robust, there's no way of checking for weak instruments um, or checking the F statistic because this is just this shows you basically the results of the second stage. So if you were doing this in real life, you would still need to run a first stage regression where you say um, education is explained by father's education so that you can see what the F statistic is. So you can check for relevancy. So that still has to happen, but that's not part of kind of the model estimation anymore. That's just pre-model diagnostics, making sure your instrument is good. Um, but you're not going to use any of that when you use IV Robust. So you still need to run a first stage of sorts to get the F statistic. But then when you actually do the real estimation, you don't need to worry about touching the first stage again. You just say second stage goes on this side, first stage instruments go on that side, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and save this and knit it so we can make sure everything is working. So it's going to go through and load all of the chunks, and it's going to run all of the code. It loaded the data. Had I named these chunks, it wouldn't be calling them a named chunk, and we could see what it's actually doing. Um, but we didn't name them because I was lazy. So they're all just named unnamed chunk 1 through 10-ish. And there is our final document, which has a table of contents up at the top. Um, so we checked the assumptions, checked for those um, conditions, relevancy, exclusion, exogeneity, and then we did the two stage least squares. Um, we did it the, the boring way, first stage, generate predictions, use predictions, 
Um, we built some naive models, and then we did the automatic version. And if you scroll through, you can see all of the results, which is cool. So that is how you do instrumental variables, basically, with um, simulated fake data here.